Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the course Foundations for Data Science and ML. The best course to help you prepare for a career in data science and ML. Do you know why most folks drop off while learning data science or ML? Let me tell you. Take any decent ML or data science course online. There would be a list of prerequisites and pre-work that is assumed that the students would know already. Which is fair as no one course could teach you everything. Here's what Google's ML course recommends that you do before taking their ML course. A good number of topics from three branches, programming, math, and statistics. And rightly so. The first step to learn data science or ML is to be well versed with the three main pillars of data science and ML, which is basically the essence of this particular course. In this course, you start right from the scratch. You're not only going to cover every topic from the Google's list, but also learn how these topics are applied in data science, both computationally and programmatically. First of all, I'll help you set up your machine for the course in the first module, where we'll learn how to create a professional virtual environment using Anaconda or more specifically, Miniconda. Then you'll see how to work with Jupyter Notebooks as that will be the tool where we'll write all of our Python code, not only throughout this course, but for most part of your career in data science or ML. Then we'll start learning how to program or write code in Python. We'll understand what is programming, learn the important data structures like lists, dictionaries, sets, tuples. We learn how to solve problems using conditional statements, if else statements, loops, how to define functions, and more. Lastly, we learn how to use external libraries to extract data from external APIs. We'll write a script to extract data. Python programming for data science and ML is more than just these basics. We learn how to work with multidimensional arrays using NumPy, which is the base for most machine learning libraries like scikit-learn, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and more. Then we move on to learn Pandas, which is the most widely used data manipulation package, a must for a technical career in data science. You learn everything to start working on your own projects from reading files to indexing, slicing and dicing data, merging, transposing, cleaning data, and thus manipulating data. Then comes the part which is used to display the results of your findings, data visualization. You learn the basics of matplotlib API and everything about the commonly used plots like scatter plot, line plot, histograms, and box plots. You'll also learn how to color, style, add legends and different other styling parameters that the matplotlib API offers. Then comes the second section of this course, which is dedicated to math. I'll start from the very basic. Learn or revise what variables, coefficients and equations are. What are functions and learn about the most widely used functions in data science and ML. Linear functions, exponential functions, log functions and more. Then comes the very important linear algebra for machine learning, where you'll understand scalars, vectors, matrices, how to calculate norms, which are used in loss function in machine learning, as well as deep learning. You learn how to solve linear equations using matrices and vectors, which is the foundation for deep learning. We'll also code everything and verify everything in Python. Lastly, we'll solve a linear regression problem without using any machine learning library just by using matrices and vectors. After that, you learn how calculus drives the training of your machine learning algorithms. We'll start from limits and derivatives, learn how to compute derivatives of common functions. We we'll learn the chain rule, which is used in back propagation. We we'll learn how the gradient descent algorithm works and how partial derivatives help us compute those gradients. And then at last, we'll train a linear regression model using gradient descent right from the scratch. Finally, we reach the very important pillar of data science, which is statistics. Now statistics is a must in every data profile. You learn the estimates of location, which is like mean, median, estimates of variability, standard deviation, variance, and probability, conditional probability, 
and you will further dive into different types of statistical distributions to describe your data and also quantify uncertainty. Lastly, we'll code and verify the central limit theorem. Phew, that was a lot. This course will give you a good solid base which you can use to go in any direction in data science. Building these foundations should be the first steps to learning data science or ML because that decides whether you have the ability to solve challenging problems in data science or not.